I'm going to start by thanking so many people that have reached out to me over the last eight or nine months. Seriously? Oh my God, I just started filming and they're going to mow the lawn in this park. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. So a lot of you know that I had a accident that caused severe physical damage to my body. I continue to try to make some videos after the incident. There is one in particular where I'm sitting here in the van and it was right after my surgery. I had to have back surgery. I had to have a laminectomy uh, for the spinal injury that I had. My life was drastically changed and I have to say that I have a difficult time talking about it because I, I could be paralyzed I could be dead, although if I was dead, I guess it wouldn't matter. <laughs> but, um, but I think to me, I don't think death to me is the worst thing that can happen to you. I think the worst thing that can happen to you is that you suffer in this life, become paralyzed, have some debilitative issue that alters the whole course of your life. My view of life changed drastically when my mom and my brother died. Because I know death is imminent and we are all gonna die, I decided that I wanted to live the happiest life I could live. And to me, that meant traveling around, visiting friends, uh, not being bogged down by life and the material things of life. Having this accident, I, I already thought I had it in perspective. I already thought I knew that I needed to live my life to the fullest. But when you come this close to possibly being disabled or to not living, it makes you put those things in perspective again. Unfortunately, instead of propelling me to travel more and meet more people and see the world more, my injury forced me to stay static for a while, a lot longer than I wanted. But the last year and a half has been extremely difficult, extremely physically painful, psychologically painful. One of the things that I had discovered when I started my YouTube channel was how happy it made me to connect with people and to start learning a new skill. Always documented my life, but I never sat down and tried to be a creative video producer, a creative person that exposed her life to the public through video. I always filmed and photographed for, for my pleasure and for my family and for my friends. But YouTube changed the way I saw creativity. YouTube gave me a vision of a community that I had no idea existed. And that was probably the hardest thing to do was because of my injury, I could no longer sit down and edit videos. And I was very limited as to the amount of time I could walk around and film. As a result of that, I fell into a deep, deep depression. I, I had to leave YouTube. The inability to sit down for extended periods of time meant that I could not make any videos. And for me, I, I, I had to leave YouTube. I had to step away from the community that was starting to bring me joy again. And that propelled me into a terrible depression. I think I spent, so it's been about a year and a half, almost two years since my accident and I would easily say that about a year of that time I spent laying around I, I didn't realize I was depressed I thought I was just recuperating from back surgery it wasn't until a substantial amount of time went by that I realized that there was a lot more to what was going on with me than my physical inability to move my body like I used to. During that time, I would, especially at the beginning, I would get email after email and messages on my videos that are still posted up that 
from so many of you concerned and asking where I was and when I was coming back and I tried to reply to as many of you as possible. In particular, there were some YouTubers that have continuously followed up with me and have checked on me and are constantly asking me how I'm doing and it's been two years almost and um, Deborah Joy, if you watch her channel, uh, Deborah Joy, you are so precious. I, you have consistently sent me messages and emails and you're always asking me how I'm doing and I am so grateful for you. I, I am very touched and Jamie from Enigmatic Nomadics, I am also a consistent person following up to see how I'm doing. Because I physically couldn't do the things I was doing before, I wasn't able to sit and do videos and go to the places I wanted to go to. Um, I wasn't in my van full time. I was doing some traveling after several months of my surgery and physical therapy. I had some commitments that I had to, I could not back out of. So um, one of those included Traveling International. I went to several video creator conferences and one of those was uh, VidCon Europe and that was held in Amsterdam. This was the first VidCon in Europe and I, I videoed as much as I could from that trip. I also had the opportunity to travel to Playlist Live in Central Florida and I'm grateful for those opportunities. Unfortunately, my time on the road would just have to be in chunks. I was not able to travel for consistent periods of time in the van because I was in so much pain. And just as I would start to get happy and excited about being on the road, um, it would be, I would have to just turn back and start and head home for a while. And so the inability for me to spend time being a nomad and living my life full time in my van caused me to fall into a lot of depression. So stepping away from YouTube was what I had to do. I, I didn't communicate with anybody for a long time. I didn't make any videos. I'm sorry, I had to stop filming. I keep looking down because I didn't, it's so difficult for me to talk about this and I didn't realize it would be. I, I finally had to come to the decision. I, I had to leave YouTube because I could not function physically the way I was before. I am still not 100%, but by no means am I disabled or disabilitated. I'm just not the same person I was before. And it, I eventually started watching videos again I was depressed and I, I, I didn't really realize it until just very recently. But I would just lay around and watch videos and I thought, you know, I'm just going to stay connected through the to the community through commenting and I'm going to be as supportive as I can. But I was no longer, I no longer had the desire to make videos for myself and to share my experience and to be of benefit to the world, which is what I want to do. So I had to leave YouTube, slowly get back in by connecting with those of you that initially, initially sparked the idea that I didn't have to be static, that I could live the life that I want to live. And I've, I've known this, but I've realized that life is really, you just have to do the things you want to do and pursue your dreams and make your life as happy as you can make it every single day because there's always going to be something. 